Item number SCP-212 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Use of SCP-212 must be cleared by the current containment site's chief medical officer. Any subjects undergoing operation by SCP-212 must submit to full physical and psychological testing both before and after exposure. Resistance to testing will result in termination of subject. All personnel are to keep at least 1.5 meters or 5 feet from SCP-212 when not in operation. Armed personnel are authorized to use whatever force deemed necessary to prevent unauthorized exposure. Should any personnel accidentally become exposed to SCP-212, full quarantine, testing, and judicial review will be initiated as soon as the subject is released by SCP-212. Description. SCP-212 is a large medical device, with three large robotic arms. The arms have an extremely diverse array of attachments, but no storage area or power source have yet been found. Attachments slide into and out of the arms as needed, with over 500 different attachments documented. SCP-212 is made of plastic, steel, and other common materials. In-depth analysis is pending, as any attempt by mechanical means cause violent reaction from SCP-212. An attempt by any biological means normally results with subjects' improvement. When exposed to living tissue, the arms of SCP-212 will rapidly move to grab and restrain it. SCP-212 will then begin to improve said tissue. This process is extremely fast, but SCP-212 does not inject any anesthetic or replace any blood lost. The process has been described as excruciatingly painful and can result in the death of the subject at a rate of 47%. Wounds made by SCP-212 are closed with standard surgical sutures and a chemical sealant that is not yet fully understood. Improvements that have been observed include lining of joints with graphite, replacement of biological organs with artificial ones, addition of metal plates to bones, addition of new or duplicate organs, and replacement of teeth with small serrated steel bands, among many others. SCP-212 has been shown to be able to totally reconfigure an organism. The improvements appear to be random, and can sometimes be detrimental or fatal, as illustrated by one subject's complete loss of bone marrow and its replacement by a gel that is still under study. Subjects wishing to undergo exposure from SCP-212 are to be advised that the process is extremely invasive and that no predictions on improvements can be made. See also SCP-212 Upgrade Log Record of Exposure to SCP-212 Attention! Any and all exposure to SCP-212 is to be recorded and logged. Unreported exposure to SCP-212 will be met with termination. All subjects willingly exposed to SCP-212 must have O5 command approvals, as well as that of site medical staff. Subject, Agent 28 years old, 64 kg, 183 cm tall, African American descent, submitted request on Approval granted and exposed on Description of upgrades Lower jawbone replaced by super-dense ceramic jaw. Teeth replaced with blades made of the same material. Spine removed and replaced with synthetic polymer. Replacement spine grafted the base of skull. Rib cage and pelvis coated with thin layer of ceramic. Lungs, eyes, and liver removed and replaced after cleaning. Subject status, active duty. Notes. SCP-212 will appear to clean some organs or tissues. It will run several attachments over the tissue, each of which will spray, scan, cut, or otherwise interact with the tissue before replacing it. When tested, these cleaned tissues appear totally free of genetic defects and appear younger than the surrounding tissues. Subject, Dr. 42 years old, 62 kg, 170 cm, Caucasian British descent. Submitted request on Approval granted and exposed on Description of upgrades Teeth replaced with super-dense ceramic Feet amputated at the ankle, replaced by thin plastic latticework, with several pads on the bottom. These pads are capable of sticking to any solid surface, and can carry up to 225 kg. Bone marrow removed and replaced with a blue gel. Heart, eyes, liver, and kidneys removed and cleaned. Several metal devices inserted into the brain for unknown purpose. 
Subject status. Subject died during the removal of bone marrow. Foot pads removed and are currently under study. Subject. Agent A.A. Personal data redacted. Suffered severe injuries on resulting in traumatic amputation of all four limbs and removal of spleen, left kidney, right lung, and left eye. Cranial trauma caused by shard of circuitry piercing skull and entering left frontal lobe of brain. Submitted request on Approval granted and exposed on Description of upgrades Contrary to expectations, SCP-212 did not remove the shard of metal from subject's brain, instead spending approximately seven minutes analyzing the circuitry with a variety of lenses, probes, and sensors before apparently determining that the foreign body could be left in place. SCP-212 then proceeded to integrate said circuitry into subject's frontal lobe more fully, utilizing tracery made from room temperature superconductors. SCP-212 ended by administering an unknown chemical that immediately placed the subject into a coma, then shut itself down. No attempts were made to replace severed limbs or repair damage to bodily organs aside from normal cleaning. Subject status As of Subject remains in a chemically induced coma, in stable condition. Foreign circuitry and brain appears to be spreading at a geometric rate. Estimate complete replacement of biological brain tissue in Subject Agent 34 years old, 112 kg, 176 cm Caucasian, German descent, submitted request on Approval granted and exposed on Description of upgrades Removal of stomach, intestines, large and small, liver and kidneys Organs replaced with two sacs of synthetic tissues, attached to the esophagus. Esophagus lined with the same tissue. Sacs produce an acid capable of breaking down steel, and transfer all nutrition directly to the bloodstream. This process produces no waste, and any indigestible matter is expelled up the esophagus and out the mouth. Eyes replaced with optic sensor pads capable of seeing visible, infrared and ultraviolet light spectrum. Hands removed at the wrist and each replaced with eight metallic tentacles, each measuring 3.8 cm long. Subject status Medical leave until to allow adjustment to new internal structures. Subject D 23 years old, 62 kg, 178 cm, Caucasian American descent, previously exposed to SCP-217 and decontaminated once the virus had run its course. Full mechanical conversion achieved. Approval for testing granted on Description of Upgrades Subject Status Subject escaped containment, overpowering two armed personnel and effortlessly bypassing several security measures. Subject recaptured after two hours, having caused casualties and injuries, as well as deactivating once recaptured, subject requested SCP classification, presumably in an attempt to avoid termination. Request was denied, and subject was dismantled. Components were incinerated following examination and documentation. See file. Subject Agent 25 years old, 93 kg, 188 cm, African American descent, submitted request on. Approval granted and exposed on Description of Upgrades Skin replaced with nanomaterial mesh of thick tubes coated in microscopic barbs. Tips of fingers and toes replaced with carbon claws, about 8 cm long. Limb bones restructured for quadrupedal stance. Heart and lungs replaced by single organ, with a second similar organ as backup. Digestive system cleaned and shortened significantly. Left eye replaced with ultrasound sensor. Subject status Stable but behaving erratically. Contained pending psychological analysis. Subject Doctor 26 years old, 142 kg, 200 cm, multiracial descent. Subject was rendered fully blind on due to accidental exposure to SCP. Submitted request on Approval granted and exposed on. Description of upgrades Removal of both eyes, orbits widen to meet and form a single oval cavity. 
cavities lined with metallic structures resembling large cilia, amputation of both hands, stumps fused together, and several small limbs resembling crab pincers crafted to the forearms in no apparent pattern, teeth removed for cleaning, teeth with fillings discarded, remainder replaced. Subject status Deceased. Subject had begun undergoing medical imaging when he began to suffer extreme pain, describing the sensation as, it tastes all wrong. The cilia-like structures then reshaped into sharp points and extended rapidly in length, many piercing the subject's brain. The gripper limbs continued independent movement for several hours, until subject was incinerated. Subject D-5354 22 years old, multiracial descent. Subject was scheduled for disciplinary termination and had consumed a last meal consisting of seafood. Description of Upgrades After spending four minutes analyzing and probing subject, SCP-212 dissected subject, carefully removing the stomach and intestinal tract. Stomach was then opened and a bioluministic lobster-like organism was constructed from its contents. Subject Status after removing and altering subject's stomach contents described above, rest of subject's remains were discarded.